Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scrollable table. Now, this might be useful in the context of like a dashboard where you haven't got enough room on your dashboard to show the whole table, maybe only 10 rows at a time. Something you can scroll through will be really handy. I've got a dashboard sheet here which will create our scrollable table in, and first thing I'll do is just link to the column headings. Scroll that across, uh, copy that across rather. And then I'll create the scroll bar itself. And to do that, you need to have the developer tab on your ribbon available to you. And it isn't by default. Now to get it to display, just right click on one of the other tabs, customize the ribbon, and then just make sure this developer option here is ticked. It won't be by default. Then on the developer tab, go to insert under form controls, select your little scroll bar form control. And then you can either make it horizontal or vertical, depending on which way you drag. I would say that vertical is most appropriate for what we're doing here. I'll just place it there. Now this scroll bar will output a value to a cell. So let me just show you what I mean. Right click format control, and there's a cell link option here. So it's just temporarily say it's linked to this cell here. And what you'll see is if I scroll this up and down, it returns a value. By default, the minimum value is zero, which isn't good. I want it to be one. So I'm going to change the minimum value to one. You'll see why that's important in a moment. I click outside it to actually be able to use it so you get rid of those handles handles you get when you right click but click outside it to actually use it so i can see my minimum value is now one and goes all the way up to 100. other options here you've got your incremental change so that's the value that changes as you drag that little bar and your page change is the value that changes when you actually click into the scroll area you can see it's incremented by 10 like click into the scroll area now those settings are actually fine my incremental change and my page change of those are fine we will need to change maximum value eventually i'm going to put current value to one but what i'm going to do is not link to a cell on this sheet but rather in the data sheet so i'll say it's that cell there you'll see why it's more handy to have it there in a moment i can get rid of that now, how is that value there going to be useful in our dashboard table here? Well, it is when we start to use the offset function, which is going to create our table for us. This offset function is going to be copied down the number of rows we want in our scrollable table and across all the columns. So offset basically returns a value uh, offset from a reference by a number of rows and number of columns. So our reference is going to be this column heading here as we want to return our uh, transaction ID. And the number of rows we want to offset by is specified by the output from our scroll bar. Now, data K1 is that reference, and I need to fix that because I'm going to be copying this formula across and down, and I always want to reference that value. The Coles argument is not relevant to us, really, because we don't want to offset by columns just by rows. So I just set that as zero. Height and width, we're not using either. So I just close the bracket there, press Enter. Now you'll see that if I scroll up and down now, it's defining which transaction ID it's displaying in that first row. And copy this across and down to return the whole record and the number of records I want to return, which is 10, 10 records. A little bit of formatting needed there. Is that to date? And look, that works really nicely. If I scroll down now, you can see that I'm getting the records that I want to display. Essentially, this is defining the first record that is appearing there. Well, if I make this two, two there, then it returns record two there. Now, there's a little bit of a problem if I scroll right down, because I start to get 
these zeros here. Now it's important to think about which number you want to appear at the top here to avoid getting zeros down here. And you can see that it's 90. 90 is the record that I want to appear there to prevent showing empty records down at the bottom of my table here. So if I right click here, format control, I need to set that to 90. Click on OK. And now you'll see that if I scroll down to the bottom, that's now perfect. I'm not getting my zeros. The only thing left to do is just change the size of this. So again, you've got to right click on it to get your little handles. Bring that up to there. And there we are. I've got a nice little scrollable table. As I said, excellent on something like a dashboard. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.